That's what Alan the food dude says every day when he walks in here. Here, eat it. Absolutely. And here we are once again. This is a warm dish. You, you've you been on a streak of cool dishes. This well, one feels uh, this feels warm to the touch, Alan. Got to keep you on your toes just a little bit. Yeah, all so right. So let's pop that little devil open. All right. And it is nice and warm. And welcome oh. to a little fresh chicken cacciatore yeah. oh. over penne. Look at this. Yeah, got about six different kinds of... Uh, we're going to say crock-potted tomatoes. Man, the so smell, is, the aroma coming from this dish is... Yeah. Well, you know, got got plenty of mozzarella. I, I got the nod of approval out of Jeff like over it. there. Like yeah. It. Plenty of Parmesan, a little shredded chicken breast. So what does it make? What makes it chicken cacciatore? Cacciatore is basically a really, really heavy tomato marinara. Okay. Okay, so it's your, it's your typical red sauce... But it's even more tomato uh, than like a prigu or ragu or something like that. Not mm-hmm. that you couldn't make a catch story with those, but this particular one is I got a lot of tomatoes. I was about to say this All out right. of your backyard, baby. Including I got a lot of tomatoes. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, is this the chicken? <laughs> yeah. Well, it, <laughs> you know, this, this was that this rooster. This is pretty this tender. Is that, <laughs> this is that rooster. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say it's pretty uh, tender. <laughs> You got a, <laughs> Jeff, you got a crock pot at your house? Jeff doesn't seem like no. a crock pot kind of guy. I got the big big thing. I mean, I'll slow cook, <laughs> but there I got go. the big pot. I don't need a – I'm not going to go buy an extra pot when I can just turn the flames yeah, on low. Exactly, exactly. There so, you, go. Uh, you know, you're looking at bell tomatoes. You're looking at a lot of Roma tomatoes, a couple of yeah. Cherokee purples, a couple of beefsteaks. But, you know, I just had this beautiful amount of tomatoes sitting there, and I went, you know, I got some chicken in the fridge. Yeah, see, it's time to make a big old batch of catch Tory. It's you got to be a foodie when to get excited about tomatoes. <laughs> you do. It's, it's you know, uh, I get excited right now. I'm getting a lot of blackberries and blueberries. Yeah. So all oh. of that's going in the all that's going straight into yeah. the freezer. So yeah. Oh man. Oh. You good. can you can expect more interesting yeah. things. You know, Jeff gets all excited this time of year because there's just stuffs coming oh, in wow. all the time. So um, can we get right. blueberries. Chicken catch Tory. This is good. It's very simple. I'm assuming. As Again, most of your stuff seems to be. Well, it, it doesn't have to be difficult. It right, doesn't right. have to be difficult. Uh, you know, if you want to make it from scratch, you know, it takes two or three hours. If you want to go grab a marinara at the grocery store, it takes ten minutes. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Where can they find this one? <laughs> they can pop on to the cookingtodayshow.com and follow along with our little kitchen shenanigans.